Hey guys, Jamie Cunnington checking in for my 8th YouTube video. Uh, it's my second video regarding the Donna Carmont Fit Bikini Model Extravaganza that's coming up in Queensland. Um, the comp is now two weeks away. Um, I haven't made as many videos as I wanted to. I've had internet troubles for a couple of weeks now and um, also as you can probably hear I've been a bit sick. Um, so I've only had the flu for a couple of days and hopefully I'm on the mend. Um, so I haven't been training for the last three days which is driving me insane, um, but I need to just relax and recover and then smash it for the next two weeks. So I've um, been making sure I've been getting heaps of nutrients in my diet, as I always do, but, you know, more so of an effort, um, making sure I'm taking those multivitamins, vitamin C, lots of tea, antioxidants, and, um, yeah, things like that, ginger and whatnot. So um, my training previously to getting the flu was going really well. I've been um, smashing my hit sessions, doing probably oh, maybe six hit sessions a week or something. Um, training probably three to four times um, in the weights area. And then uh, just some long, long, low intensity cardio, which we all love. And... Uh, yeah, that's all been going really great. I've been noticing uh, results. My measurements are down, my weights are down, uh, my weight is down, and um, my strength was up. However, then I got the flu, so I'm expecting that to um, probably decrease a little bit when I get back in the gym, hopefully tomorrow. I'll probably sound a little bit worse than I feel. Um, so, yeah, my... Um, my food was going well, uh, or is going well, however it was, my macros were cut a little bit uh, last week to, you know, try and increase more of that deficit just before the comp. And um, yeah, every, everything's going really well, getting lots of veggies, um, sticking to my nice lean meats and um, my good sources of fat. And yeah, everything's going smoothly. It's... Um, you know, I'm not finding it too hard just yet. However, I didn't in my last comp previously in the first six weeks and this this prep being only six weeks long um, is really short. So I'm not expecting dramatic um, results. However, I am seeing results every week. So that's really motivating in itself. And um, yeah, just plodding along really, trusting the process, loving training at Granite under Andrew and the guys there are awesome, they're really motivating, it's a, such a great team and um, yeah, everything's going really well. So that's sort of all I have to say on the competition side of things. Um, I just wanted to also bring up actually, um, I've had for quite a while now actually I can't remember maybe three years or so I've had um, digestion issues um, and I just wanted to bring up that I, I thought was really interesting that um, the I recently looked into how much fiber I was getting in my diet and and I was getting quite enough so I started or have been thinking for a while that I was either gluten intolerant or wheat intolerant or something like that there's obviously you know if if I'm not or if anyone's not feeling a hundred percent there has to be something wrong the, the symptoms are your body's way of telling you that something's not right so you should listen to those and and you know perform a process of elimination until you find out what's wrong um where you know normally you would go to the doctor they'll give you prescribe you medicine or, or something you could probably get something from Woolies and um but I'd really like to take the natural approach in things and um, so anyway what I found in the last few weeks or so was that I was getting enough fiber however I think I was getting the wrong type of fiber um, so there's two different types of fiber now you've got soluble fiber which is actually attracted to water so they're in foods like it, it's good fiber but um, it's just a, a different type so it's attracted to water meaning that it forms like a gel in your in your stomach in your gut so that slows things down and that's what um, when you eat foods let's say um, I don't know whole grains and um, certain certain types of vegetables not as many vegetables um, um, what else I think I can't remember now I've got a whole list of stuff written down but it's your, your whole grains and things like that um, there's certain nuts I think as well um, have have soluble fiber now it um, it sort of 
it, yeah, it slows it down, keeps you fuller for longer, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's a, that's a good thing. However, if you have too much of it, it can really slow things down, um, and it can cause major problems and major discomfort. And and um, anyway, so what I found out was I was having too much of that food and it causes bloating and it causes um, stomach pains, cramps, constipation, all that kind of stuff. And um, so anyway, I've started having sources of insoluble fiber. Now insoluble fiber is the other type that's not attracted to water. So it goes through your gut and it stays intact in its fiber form and it also helps move food along and things like that. So um, now that's, I think, more so in vegetables, also in whole grains, um, whole meal and things like that. Um, but yeah, pretty much it's more so in vegetables. So if you have a high vegetable diet, you're going to be getting a lot of fiber and, and you'll probably be okay in that area. Um, so that, yeah, helps things move along. And, and since I've done that, I, um, cause I used to get lots of bloating. I used to get major stomach cramps and um you know if you're gonna be on stage in a bikini it's really not what you want you don't want to eat a certain certain type of food and then um you know you have this intolerance to it um and you're <laughs> bloated and look three four months pregnant and you've got to be on stage in a bikini it's yeah not very attractive so um yeah since I've sort of you know eliminated that down um, and making sure I'm getting enough insoluble fiber, it's pretty much fixed my problem. Um, so just something that I thought was interesting because for a long time there, I thought I was either, um, wheat intolerant or, um, gluten intolerant. However, when I started researching foods that have gluten and wheat, which is, well, gluten, pretty much everything, um, um, there were certain foods that I would eat that I didn't have a negative effect to. I didn't have that intolerance sort of reaction to. So I knew it had to be something else and I just had to keep looking. Um, so yeah, I think I've solved that problem anyway. And I just, I wanted to bring it up because I know that it's very common. Um, and a lot of people think they either have, you know, IBS or, um, you know, something, but those symptoms are definitely intolerances to something. Um, and like I say, a symptom is your body's way of telling you that something's wrong. So you should look into it further. Um, and not to say that a doctor wouldn't know what it is. Um, but they are trained to prescribe you things. They are trained in medicine. They're not trained in, um, preventative measures where if you were to see possibly a naturopath um, a naturopath is is a preventative um, where a doctor deals with reactions um, so anyway I'm not a doctor but I um, yeah sort of self-diagnosed after a long time of trying to figure out what was going on with my gut and um, yeah pretty much once again um, the leanest and cleanest way to eat seems to solve the problem so anyway guys that's sort of it really I'll um got to get back to my meal prep and making a nice stew at the moment so hopefully that'll fix me up lots of ginger and garlic and hopefully I'll be on the mend so I'll um I'll check in in another week and let you know how I'm going and um yeah nearly there two weeks to go fingers crossed I make the top five and I'll go through to the international which um is the final at the end of October so if I can get through to that then I will hopefully um I would be at my my sort of peak physique of where I want to be by then so that's the, the dream or the plan at the moment so fingers crossed it all goes the way I'm hoping that it will and I've just got to just keep doing what I'm doing, really. Just keep um, training hard and eating well and trust the process and it will all fall into place. Fingers crossed. Cheers, guys.